driving now to a place known as Club PT. And this was not actually a club per se. Like they didn't have shows regularly. It wasn't like there was you know anywhere you could go to find out what bands were gonna be playing or this or that. It was a place that actually started, I believe, uh, there was a show that my band Ice was supposed to play along with the band Function. And um, it was going to be at USC, it was going to be us, Strife, and there was, um, and I'm, I'm forgetting, I think there was a fourth band on the bill, or maybe there was two more bands on that bill. Anyway, the show didn't happen, and it was an extremely rainy night, and um, it just did not go on. So we were like, well, we still wanted to play, That that's the thing, That that's what was driving to me is that I, I always wanted to play shows, I always wanted to go to shows, I always wanted to have another show set up. I never wanted to be done playing shows because that had happened to my band. We played with Head First and the next night we played with Drift Again, we, um, um, Mission Impossible, Sludge Pot, and Rage Against the Machine. And then we didn't have anything set up. And then, it, and then it, like a lull would just sort of kick in. And I'm like, nope can't we can't do that we have to we have to have something set up so anyway we just threw together a show at club pt it was our friend pt's house pt was um he ended up becoming the drummer for the suppression swing he became a drummer in a band called the revolvers um and with uh, alex from statue from, from statue saying and um just a great guy and his mother just a um, fantastic lady and you know PT's house was a very very open place I had already you know hung out there a lot a lot of people hung out there I, I shot when I redid walking between the raindrops uh, we shot it at Club PT just because we knew we could get a bunch of people there and it was just it was a very very open and inviting place so that show with Function was kind of the first show there. There were other shows there. My, my band Enswell played there. The band Coldwater Crane played there. Um, and then I want to say there, there may have been a Black Spot show there. Um, it, it, it was just a cool place where they, where, where shows would just be thrown together. You know, they weren't flyered. It literally was, hey, this is happening tonight, generally. Sometimes there was some lead up, but generally it was either, hey, a show had fallen through, let's do it at Club PT, or, um, you know, hey, you know, the week before. And we also recorded there. Um, my band Enswell recorded the demo, the band The Piccolo Peaks recorded the demo, The Piccolo Peaks played there a bunch. So it was just a great place, and I'm gonna go there and just kind of get some shots from the outside. Okay, I am out in front of the world famous or it should be world famous club pt it was just a wonderful place we played in that living room right there just a terrific place the bedrooms were upstairs we did recording in in those bedrooms uh mike from new age and travis from mean season lived here for a while that was sort of how i ended up being able to be in this realm and uh this was this was just a great place um a lot of room, very, very spacious. You know, the bands would play in that living room, the crowd would be in there, and there were sometimes a lot of people, so you'd have people kind of going up the stairs. And uh, the, I, I don't remember the police ever coming. If they did, it didn't really hurt the shows. PT's mother, always very, very accommodating. So this was just a great, great kind of a pop-up venue before there really were pop-up venues. 